PSA Reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Y'all see me to follow your boy at. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk about it. Uh, we're talking the main event, Mike P versus Frozen Berg. Um, I like this battle a lot. Obviously, this one, the, um, the main event, obviously, on the trenches is the match that everyone was looking forward to. Um, surprise, these two brothers, well, not surprised, but obviously both URL with Mike P and RBE has been Rosenberg for a while, though. But this battle did make sense, right? Especially we, and a lot of talk also with Mike P. Um, you know, and I, I interviewed Mike P before the battle and a lot of conversation was about was he a good representation for New York City? The question is always from Long Island. He's not from the boroughs and everything like that. I, let me tell you something. I have no problem with Mike P being a representation of New York in, in, in battle rap if you're having a war with other, another city. Mike P is nice. I'll, I'll just be real. Mike P can rap. Let's not get that twisted at all. You feel me? Frozenberg. My man is doing big things right now. Man, I'm proud of that brother right now. Um, he's blogging now. I like that. I'm actually subscribed to his channel also. Frozenberg TV, I believe it's called. Um, I actually, both these brothers, Mike P does, does Mike P been doing bre bar breakdowns and both these brothers and stuff. So shout out to Mike P and Froze. I guess for Froze, I'm just saying welcome to, to the dark side, right? So to speak, man. Um, let's get to this battle right quick, man. You know this round one, Mike P, when he was being introduced, the first thing Mike P said was 516-631, New York in this and I'm glad he did that. I, I, I feel like that's more shots to other people from New York that had issues with him. Because there was more people from New York who had issues with Mike P being a represent representative for New York City compared to other people, other regions and everything. I, from, what I, from what I gathered, right? Um, Mike P intros to me be so dope. One thing about that brother, like him and Ill Will, man, the way these brothers, the intros of their rounds always be dope. They take you somewhere and it's like bang in your face. You see what I'm saying? Off rip, let me say this. Mike P's first round, that brother was dumping. Bang! He was dumping in that first round, man. The Just Gems line was hard. Said why he left URL and Rose, you know, stop the RP RP stuff situation. I liked all that, man. Say froze. Snake to get on on, on on the podcast. Snake to get on URL because easy left. Yo, Mike P was getting busy in this first round, man. And the thing with Mike P, well, everybody rapper, but guys like Mike P, you don't catch everything Mike P says on first watch. I've done numerous Mike P blog um, recaps where the first watch, like I'm doing right now, sometimes does that brother no service because when you spend the block back and have to write down the stuff this brother be saying, Mike P be saying a lot of ill stuff, son. Real talk. You feel me? Um, take this walk of me was hard. As soon as he say Mike, he started moonwalking. That was the rest of room shakers. Mike P had room shakers in this first round. The coke so way I thought beat Geechee. He was, he let the, yo, his first round was, there was really no flaws. It might be first round, son. Real talk. Froze first round. I don't give a F about Mike P. Ike P. Ice T. Like, <laughs> I like all that from Froze. In the beginning of his first round, the lean with it, rock with it, white T and everything. Um, leaving Street Fighter at home and Hadouken at home. I, I like Froze first round too, man. Play for the Saints. The Dome, he went into a lot of talk about Mike P's woman in, the, in his battle and stuff like that, man. Here's the thing with that, it's a double sword because we've heard we've heard conversations about them and Mike P's woman before in raps, and some people don't want to hear that. And then you got some people who say, yo, all right, if you're gonna go in that bag, you have to make it sound dope. You see what I'm saying? Um what he said, took this battle to make smack smack mad talk, slap the itch out of Adam Levine brother, knew she sucked all that. Why would you kiss that? Hits in the suburbs, the overpriced was crazy. Yo, the hits in the suburbs, the overpriced is crazy. That was wild by Froze in that first round, man. Holding one, holding Mike. 
Suck more than Yoshi G. Yo, dog, I'm not gonna lie, man. I got Mike P taking round one. But Fro's first round wasn't bad, though. Don't get it twisted. Fro's first round was actually dope. I can't get mad if someone said Fro's got the first. I feel Mike got the first round, right? Round two now. I gotta be honest, I thought Mike P's second round compared to the first was totally different. Not saying it wasn't good. Mike, remember I told you, Mike P's first round was out of here. You feel me? Mike P, and, and then once again, I would have to spin the block back down to make sure I caught everything. But the Usher flip with your chick burning, that was crazy. That Usher thing, that flip, oh, that was wild. The Michael into a meme, and he got personal with me. He had to cut the, the, that cut the leader line he had was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Talked about froze um, subs and everything like that. Listen, like I said, might be second round, and I, and I, and I guarantee it might be because a blog. If I was as a, if I was privy to talk to Mike P, I think he would tell me also the three. I think my first round was better than my second round. Not saying nothing. Some, listen, nobody saying Mike P second round was bad. I don't want nobody to get that misconstrued. I just like Mike's first round compared to the second. Fro second round now. Now, this is where it gets interesting because, man, oh, man, oh, man. How Mike P's first... Listen, the best rounds of this battle was Mike P's first round and Froze's second round, son. Like, if that I do know. I'm confident it can beat my chest saying that Mike P's first round and Fro's second round was the best rounds of the battle. Fro's second round, you got Bill Collector standing behind on um, Fro's. Always good to see that because let's be honest. I go back to what was I think that was that thing called back in the day with Heineken and um oh, I forgot the name of it. It was a show by my 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 batter, old head battle rap fans remember what I'm talking about. It was Time Bomb, it was Bill Collector, and it was Froze doing an interview back in the day. It was a wow, what's the name of that show with Heineken? Ah, I forgot the name of it. I know people are gonna remind me of stuff on the bottom. Um the pity party from fans. Uh, Froze is kind of talking from a fan's perspective to Mike P a little bit in the second round. The language line in Spanish, wait, that was hard. You left smack for the trenches, but now I'm in the trenches. Smacking, that was crazy by Froze, man. Chuck, your chick took so much, she pigeon toed. <coughs> that was wild. <coughs> you get in here, you white, white. It was cool. I heard your mixtape was ass ice spice. <laughs> It's funny, that was not the craziest line, but it was funny all mixing one. But I did think Froze dominated in the second round. I gotta be honest. I thought Froze dominated in the second round, man. You know that it's Sean Corny because you did it? He said somebody might be liking it because you did it. That was wild. Even Mike P chuckled a lot in the second round. I think Mike P know that Froze turned up in the second round, son. I got it 1-1 one, one going to the third, bro. Now, Mike P's third round, the rolls in inside and rolls on the outside was hard. Mike P said he done more drugs than Raw. Mike P drug talk tonight was very wild. He saw I sold more drugs than you. And then the last couple bars he had about drugs, they were here, though. I'm not going to hold you. He said, my last run in with the cops, I had an onion in my sock like a home remedy. It was, it was crazy, yo. Do you believe unbelievable was hard and stuff? Mike's third, all right, so for me, I would say Mike P's first round was his best round. Then it's the third round, then the second round. And now the first round is his best round, then the third round, then Mike's second round. It's all on the first watch, right? Now, Fro's third round, man. Talked about URL giving opportunity talk. Um, the video game stream online was cool. Don't make me, um, don't make your skin color. If you nice, you nice, like. And I've been saying that for years. If you nice, you nice. A lot of times in battle rap, people say, I've heard said this numerous times, that the white rappers get allowed, they they allowed to say certain things and stuff like that. They get away, they get away with a lot of certain things that other black rappers can't get away with. And I understand that to a degree, and I'm not mad at that. But on the flip side of everything to that is that a lot of white rappers, they gotta they gotta show and prove. When you come on in a, in a culture of, 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 of black folks, and you gotta stand out, you gotta make us be the eye. Right, that was, you know what I'm saying? That's just keeping it real. Sometimes the, I want the white battle rappers probably feel like the minority in battle rap. Listen, y'all are minority in battle rap. I know some of y'all must feel that way, respectfully. Right? Probably had a house in your name when you were seven or eight, like privileged talk, or might be. 
Um, Philly Wild Animal, Don't Pet the Snake Line was cool. Um, the White People, Open Season. We said audio feed, he can't hear me. I'm trying to get through the mic. Everybody effing your girl, you don't know who to fight. That was wild. Everybody effing your girl, you gotta fight. That's the thing, man. If you're gonna bring those bars back, those kind of angles and storylines about Mike P's girl, it gotta land a little bit. That one landed to me hard. Listen, I got Froze taking round three. I got Mike P getting round one. I got Froze taking round two. And I got Froze taking round three. Frozen Bird, two, one. And a very dope battle. The battle was actually, it was actually dope. I can't wait to watch it again, man. So shout out to Mike P. Shout out to um, Rosenberg also, man. It's your boy, three.